K Royal Stadium in Austin, Texas is bursting with excited fans who've come to watch one exciting football game. And now we bring you the coin toss. It is presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. He's taken down at the 13. Jayhawks offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Neal gains about a yard on the play. From their own 14-yard line, second down. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 38. Dumps a complete over the middle, and he's tackled right away. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. He's got the corner. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Kansas! The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. Well, he found some daylight and took off for six. Kansas with a six-point lead. And he hits the PAT. A nice six-play, 88-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down, one yard to go. Ball on the 34. Gain 
finds his way to the 43-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. of two on the run by the halfbacks. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 41-yard line, second down. He's at midfield. He's hit and got away, and he's tackled at the 37. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. The sack makes this a second and long. Sack! Red 18! Red 18! Red. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Check three, check three, check three. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Let's go! He's hit and taken down. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, looking for the corner. At the 30, he's knocked out of bounds at the 35. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Kansas holds a four-point lead. He's on the run. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he finally steps out at the 22. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 22. And they make 
make a stop at the three-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-3, Jayhawks. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Tackle made around the one-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. Kansas is up four. Touchdown, Jayhawks. his second touchdown of the day. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's tackled at about the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Run, right side. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Gets out to around the 45. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ready. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gaining five yards. That brings him second and five. It's the junior corner. We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of fight and character they have to try to get back in the game. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's taken down at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 50. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 41's coming, 41's a mic. Down, pass. Quick throw to the tight end. He's at the 30. He's taken down right around the 20. That makes it first and 10.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. Looking to run. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The seven. It's second down. touchdowns now. Yeah, these guys are coming out firing on all cylinders. They've really taken control of this game early. He makes the PAT. Kansas lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Strike complete, he's down. Whittington picks him up around seven yards with that catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Rose left, the running back's got it. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and eight. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 21-3, Kansas. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports Halftime Show. Reese Davis and David Pollock here at the break. David, you go through this first half, and, and there was a lot of anticipation for this game coming in, but it, it sort of got sleepy. It was sort of a, you know, as scripted throughout the first half. What's it like for a player when a game's sort of gone flat on you to try to maintain that edge? Well, you always have so much emotion and so much excitement coming into a ball game. And a lot of times it's about tapering it down and making sure you don't use it all in the first half. I think you saw the feeling out process, and now in the second half you'll start to see that energy pick back up because now you're going to see the goal in sight. The finish line's coming, and guys are going to make sure they want to make plays. I have to try to maintain a fine balance between the desire to make plays and stay within yourself, sticking to the game plan, and perhaps that will be the key to the second half. All 
All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Jayhawks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Check four, check four. Ready. Red, 68. Red, 68. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Darts it to the left. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. From the 31-yard line, first down. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He's at the 20. He makes his way to about the 18. From the 18-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Calls for the fair catch. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defense has changed things up as they try to stop these guys. Look at left, finds his fullback. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He's under pressure. He's to the 40. Loose football. And the ball bounces out of bounds. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. 47. Focus, defense, focus. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. Set, hot. Set, hot. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Yeah. 
just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. They're showing blitz. Good outside run there. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. it out to about the 19. First and 10. Ball on the 19. on that play. The play action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. They'll spread the field with five wide. The 10. Touchdown, Texas! and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 63-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And the big plays that they have running the football were the keys to that drive. They line up to kick this one away. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He dives, and he'll be marked down. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Kansas is up by four. Makes it out to about the 40. That makes it first and ten. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. The Jayhawks lead it by four. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Now he tries to buy some time. Trying to lock one long. He's got a man wide open. It's going the other way. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. From their own 16-yard line, it's first down. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. 
Worthy. Left side. Makes it to the 27. it to the 28-yard line. That makes it second, and ten. second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28. Five wide. Slings it. He goes out of bounds at the 36. this try. Neal on the give. And they push him out at the 30-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Kansas is up four. Gets out to about the 31. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at about the 41. Scramble. Room around the corner. He steps out at the 41. From the 41 yard line. First down. scramble fires it out he's at the 30 he's at the 20 he's knocked out of bounds right around the 14 yard line that's a really athletic play for a fullback i think it's safe to say that the defense was not expecting him to get the ball on that pass play We have two minutes left to play in this game. Check number six, check number six. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's taken down at the 17. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's 
He's on the run. Here they come. He's out of bounds around the 12-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. 41's coming. 41 the mic. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Check four, check four. Ten, nineteen. Now he's scrambling. Wide open. Incomplete. Kicks up, and he's got it. Jayhawks and their fans, they're going to have a long time before they forget the end of this game. Uh, this is a tough loss for them, but on the other hand, how about the defense on the other side? Coming up with a big play to be able to get this victory for them. Keller has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. So they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fire right side. Got his tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Second and 12. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. Just over a minute left. Set. Check, check. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 50. the 50. It's first down. Here we go. Check, check. On scoop. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 40. Get to the ball, get to the ball, get to the ball. And they might be coming with a blitz here. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Number 13 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Kansas is up a score. They'll bring him down at about the 45. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line.
So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 24-17, Kansas. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.